Good morning, everybody. <coughs> and today I want to expose something that I would have seen and heard over the past couple of days. First, I want to start with Mr. Brian Max. Again, ignorance make people do stupid things ignorance make people do stupid things now I hear Mr. Max coming out sending threats to James Bond, Harmon and the rest of them saying that he got the crew and he wanted to come out so them is bad man is stirring up corruption again from the start in this thing was about fighting for democracy then it had a whole set of different what well, I should say narrative of what people are fighting for now Mr. Max coming out saying he want some crew to show up somewhere for he could to do something what I want to do I don't know maybe they want to dance off you know like in the movies you're going to get a dance off and who win win maybe I don't know but let me give you some advice Mr. Max ignorance cannot put you in a position to win nothing now if and this is where knowledge come in right this is where common sense come in that you can't get a plan to do something and exposing a plan before it happened now if you got something in your mind and something planned or, or whatsoever the narrative is and you come out and put it in the public before you would achieve your objectives that ain't making no sense that is not making any sense if you got something planned to do you need to get your, your act together and do your thing You understand, you can't come out on national TV and tell people that kind of bunch of stupidness of what you're planning to do. Tell me what sense they make. What sense they make. Ignorance is not the way forward, sir. Ignorance is not the way forward. There is much more things better things we can do in better ways you understand <clears throat> now I'll go to low and feel I would like to know what happened to the investigation towards these documents for the father seven bucks for the east coast that Louis Field said he gonna be doing to find these documents I ain't hear nothing about that again what happened to this investigation for finding these, th these papers you know why you cannot hear nothing again because no investigation was launched towards finding them because low in field already have them right that's why you cannot hear nothing about them or nobody from the AP and your AFC side come out and say nothing about that they're only talking about the ballots shouldn't count right if it was in a PNC stronghold you would have, you'd have hear everybody coming out talking about 
the investigation to find these documents because they were the one that put the court. I am to hear them trying to kill Winfield to produce the documents because, for example, suppose Winfield tell Harmon. I just give you an example that the same thing happened in Region Four. Well, it happened, but in PNC stronghold. Sorry. And they would have known that the returning officer had the documents, and he would have given it to the CEO. And now the CEO said he don't have it. It would have been a different outcome if the PNC was in the same position, because Louis Fee would have had to produce them. Louis Fee would have had to produce them, but none of them taking this too easy, right? <clears throat> or it would have been a whole different scenario. Because the PNC would have won the ballots to come. And since they would have known that GCOM have the, the documents, they would have fight for the ballots come, whether the documents was produced or not. Because there is evidence showing that GCOM have them. In terms of the presiding officers, them coming forward, saying that Mingo would have advised them <coughs> to don't put them in the ballot box. And they come out on national TV and say that. Mingo didn't, didn't defend them on time. Right? Mingo did not respond to those returning officers no time. It's Harmon and, and Aubrey Norton and them coming out and said something. Not Mingo. When they come out and say Mingo give the arrow for them not to put it in the box. Then pass the low in field. We ain't hearing nothing about that investigation. Right? Moving forward. In the court ruling, or in the court case yesterday, was these two judge taking political side? I know one of them for sure, I could say, with a little more confidence that he taken political side because the matter went to court to stop Lowe and Field from making a declaration from producing a report and to explain that the most vote win meaning the most valid votes win the election the first judge come and said that they had jurisdiction for hearing them kind of things the second judge, he said, this is both a qualitative and a quantitative assessment. Now, watching the whole recount and watching all the objections, this was two words used by Arbery Norton. At, at least every single time he come to the podium, he was using these two words, qualitative and quantitative. So is there by a, a, a slim chance that these announcement the judge make would have had something to do with Arby Norton or what Arby Norton was saying? Now no matter didn't go to court for nobody say nothing about the qualitative and quantitative. It's simple. The most vote win. And I don't know which part of the world I don't know which part of the universe when the law said most vote win and they're gonna mean invalid votes. Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't know. And for two judges to sit on there and come and tell people that most votes mean most valid votes is the same thing with the AP and your AFC saying and low in field. That most valid vote should count. Remember how I was saying that Law and Field can only produce a report based on valid votes. Now this judge come out saying most valid votes. Obviously, anybody who have common sense would know when the law say most votes win, it have to be most valid votes. So again, 
there is any way that you could tell me that these two judges ain't taking political side. I don't think nobody can tell me that. They are taking political side. Because they throughout the official case and still making decision on something that the, the case didn't go to court for. About qualitative and quantitative assessment and most valid votes. Now she's specifically trying to tell somebody something that most valid votes. Now tell me if there's not put in the same allegations harm was putting out there. As a judge, they most would have known that if somebody claiming something to be invalid, they have to produce evidence of the claims. If they cannot produce no evidence claiming that something is invalid, the minute remain valid until somebody come up with something, hardcore evidence, to show why it's not valid. So again, I don't know why she had to specifically put it that valid votes. There is a, a line from Harmon. Now, did she have some thing to do with Harmon's speech? Hmm. So we see where this whole thing going. Right? That the court system is corrupted. Now it's simple. We cannot, we don't have the constitution to tell Lo Yifi what to do or to tell Jikon what to do, take it to the high court. Bram! The Hamas Slam on this story done. Why I had to go into details to explain what is valid and what is not valid or what valid mean and what it don't mean. Because the first one we talk about qualitative and quantitative, the showing what he mean by valid and not valid. Right? And when she comes out and say valid votes, she also points into something different from where it originally is valid. Mm -mm. This ain't something right. This is not something right. It look like all these people who they in high places, I should say. First, they left out GCOM, they got to <coughs> the Commission of Police slash Head of Immigration, he sent back a fake list of who would, would be out of the country. Now the judges, so we got the head of the police and the head of, of the courts taking political sides. What the country going to? That you can't even depend on the law or to depend on the court to uphold the law in the country again. What a country going to? This is the way the AP and UAFC have when they said moving the country forward because it's showing clearly everybody in in high position taking political side. There is no neutral person in the in in these places. None. So since everybody else in the world taking the neutral side in making the right decision, the right announcement, and talking the truth about the whole process. And nobody up on AP and UAFC side. So all y'all think that AP and UAFC need some more help, so y'all can help them. Okay. Now Nandalal said he's going to take the matter to the 
CCG just to expose these two judges taken political side. You hear? We can expose it to you that you are taking political side. I don't know where the country going. And I don't know how we could fix it and how long it would take for us to fix it. Into getting everybody to uphold the responsibility and not do what is best for the party that's ruling. Or the party they're supporting. I don't know when they're gonna happen and how. Come on people, y'all are making no better for the country. Now Venezuela definitely cares, fighting for tech with the isle. Are we talking about Jack View and Isle Money? Make Jack View doing what he doing for Isle Money? So before the Isle Money, stay in the country. And y'all ain't want to stay there because of a political agenda. That Jack View some Jack View can thief. I don't know Jack View can thief more than Harmon. Because they said Jack View was thieving all the time. Then was in there for five years. Did they launch, in, launch an investigation towards Jack View thieving? I don't know. And if they did, they mean nothing come out because Jack View is still on the road. And we are accusing people of thieving. When PPP going, we can see who go in jail. And we can know who we are accusing on it. And who was the real thief? So you're happy for Venezuela to take the oil. Then the oil to stay in the country. Because I have political agenda. That's why you're happy for it. Before the oil to stay in the country. And the people of the country and the country can benefit from that. You only want that. You want Venezuela to come and take it. Because the longer you stay corrupted, is the better opportunities Venezuela have in taking it. Right? So we can continue living the shit we was living in all the time. Right? And we're talking about thieving. When born I'm dead in 85, he was the third richest black man in the world. And we're talking about who thieving. When Cherry did, when he was in the world, Cherry didn't have nothing. Cherry didn't even have a, a, a new outfit to wear when he did. And we're talking about who thief him. Well done, people, well done. <laughs> History can show you who is more corrupted than who, who is more thief than who. In terms of politics, history can show you, but y'all don't want to know that. Y'all don't want to know, hear nothing about that. Y'all only want to come out there and say, Oh, Jack, they do this. Y'all ain't got a problem with nobody else. No. Y'all don't have a single problem with nobody else in the PPP arena except Jack Dio. Why? Because <laughs> Jack Dio. Is a master, eternal master. Jack Dio is a master, and Jack Dio is a leader, not a pretender, like some other people. That's why you are afraid of Jack Dio because you, you all know PPP cannot bully. Sorry, PNC cannot. Bully or thief this election as long as Jack Dio is there. Y'all know that for a fact. That's why everybody have a problem with Barrett Jack Dio. There's a real, real politician. Right? And y'all know y'all can't get through with nothing as long as he did. Because this thing, my girl come in and say, but, Oh, Jack Dio is anti man and Jack Dio this and Jack Dio that. And she tired to see Jack Dio. Did you see Jack Dio more than Harmon? Did anybody in the country can tell me to see Jack Dio on TV more than Harmon?
I, I can't remember seeing Jack Deer Muda Hammond. I would have seen Mandalal and says, Gone much more than how I see Jack Deer. Even if an ally I will see more than how I see Jack Deer. But she fed up seeing Jack Deer. She must be one of Jack Deer's wife. And he was like, She's a cool man. And because Jack Deer didn't want to take the wife from she, she vexed. This is the only way I can see Mexico come out to them, kind of. Ignorance. Miss, you look like garbage. Nobody gonna take nothing from you unless somebody who desperate. You hear? You look like garbage. So nobody gonna take no piece away from you. You just for one them desperate, homeless people who they on the road. You hear? So that, that's why that's why she vex. Because Jack Deer refuse. Probably Jack to, they don't eat junk food. Maybe the man don't eat junk food, that's why. He refuse. Anyway people, that is the end of my video for today. See you in the next video. Please stay safe. Stay away from Rona. And please prepare for something. If nothing happened, you have nothing to lose. If something happened, you are already prepared. God bless. Diana.